Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we are looking at Righteous from Juice World, a uh, brand new song uh, with a really cool guitar uh, phrase uh, along the entire song. Before I jump into the tutorial, just let me know in the comments if you have any suggestion for next tutorial videos and please consider subscribing to the channel as well uh, if you're interested in some more guitar videos. This song has kind of two guitar parts. There is like the intro and verse, which is pretty much three chords. Uh, and then you've got the chorus uh, and outro as well, uh, which is four chords. Very similar picking with the right hand, but a few differences as well. And the chords you need for this verse are A minor. Then you've got an A minor over G. So you just move your third finger basically in the A minor position and you move that to the third fret first string. So we've got, which is a nice chord. And you've got uh, F major, major sevenths that you don't really need to play uh, the proper posi position. So the proper position of the F minor sevenths would be something like this. I'll put that on the screen if you wish, but uh, it is much better because you only need two of the notes in the F to just use your first finger on the first fret first string and then the second finger on the first fret fifth string. So you just need those two. You also need the the last string, but it's open anyway. You also need to use uh, the third finger coming up on the second, uh, second fret and fourth string. So along with the two first fingers. And if you do that, uh, it's gonna be easier as well for the, there's a part where you do the, for the picking, you're always going to be on uh, bass with your thumb and uh, then the, your first finger is going to pick the fifth string for each of the chords for the verse. Then the bass jumps to the first string here on the G. And same thing with the F, so your same position here. Okay, now you stay, uh, that's pretty much what you do with your right hand. Now you stay one bar on the two first chords on each of them, so. And on the F you stay twice, so. But it's not really how it is played, uh, because at the end of the second F, uh, you go and do a cool leaf, so I'm going to show you that now. There's two ways you can play this lick at the end. Uh, so when you're in this position, uh, I, you know before I recommended you use this third finger on this string here, and it's because you can do a... So you're gonna do a slide to the fifth, and then with your second and third finger, you're gonna grab the fifth string on the... Um, the fifth fret, sorry, on the fifth and fourth string, so... so. And then you go back, to the position you were before on the F with this uh, third finger here on the second fret and uh, fourth string. So. so I like playing it like this because in the song you can hear the slides, uh, but it's pretty fast. So if you can't do it this way, there's another solution when you're in the F and you can just do which is super easy. So basically, in this position, you don't need to do anything with your left hand with this second solution. You just in, so you, you are on this. And then you just grab the A. I'll do it this way and then I'll do it the slide, the more complex way. All right, I hope it makes sense. Uh, now I'm going to show you the other way with the slide that I also like to do.
Okay, and now we go into the chorus. So the chorus, again, it's the same than the outro. In the outro, it plays the same riff uh, for quite a while in repeat. Uh, and for the chorus, you've got, you start on a D in this time, uh, which is actually a D over, uh, I think it's a A minor over a D instead, rather. So it's kind of this position, but you remove your second finger this time. Uh, but you don't really need to play this way. What I recommend you do is you keep the the F position that you had before. So with your first and second finger, you add the third, and you kind of already have the position of the D here. So that's what you need. And then I recommend just leaving that here because when you do the picking with your right hand, you don't have to move as much with your left hand. So pretty much what you're going to do is leave these three fingers for the two first chords. Uh, so you leave that position, you stay on that position. Then what you have is a uh, A, the A minor and the G, which is uh, the one we already used before. Now with the right hand, the picking is a bit different. Uh, so I'll go back to my first position. The picking on the right hand is uh, a bit faster. Goes. So. So you need three fingers, uh, and you do thumb first, second, thumb first, second, then first, first. So. And the only variation will be the thumb. So you're always going to do this with your last two fingers on the last three strings. So the thumb is going to move from a D, then you're going to have the F, then you're going to have the A, and then the G. So if I go back to my first position and start with the D, it goes like this. Got the F. So now you should understand why I said to use that position. You pretty much can do these two chords with one single position on your left hand, so it's really convenient. And then you got the A minor, so same thing. So instead, uh, the only difference is the thumb on the second string. And then again on the G. All right, and uh, that's pretty much it for the for the chorus. So I'm going to play, try to play it super slowly and then a bit faster. play it a bit faster thanks for watching guys that's it for today's video i really hope you found that helpful and if you did please consider subscribing to the channel i will see you in the next one